Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here. So I've been very lucky in the UK to manage to pick myself a DJI Osmo Action 360 which is a 360 camera. I've currently been using the Insta360 X3 which I was very pleased with but I fancied something in the DJI ecosystem so I bought the DJI Osmo Action 360 which was only released on Thursday. The first thing we'll do before we go in to unbox it we need the DJI Mimo app, which if you haven't got the DJI Mimo app, and you need to download that from your app store or your um, whatever device you're using. I really only use Apple. So I'm gonna update it because obviously it's gonna have some new bits for this. So you just go to the app store. Where's the app store? There's the app store. You go to your name, DJI Mimo today, look. Watch new ad support for the Osmo 360. So you click on update. Zipping around fairly quickly. Come on, come on, update. We'll leave that doing its thing. While we get into the actual camera and see what we've got. So I've only bought the standard combo because this is compatible with a lot of other DJI stuff. And I've got batteries, I've got selfie sticks, I've got charge cases, I've got all those bits and pieces. So I've just bought the standard combo. Um, it says it's updated, look, there it is, if we open it. And there we have the splash screen, which has got the 360 on it. I'm searching for a device, but it's found the camera that we were using to film it. So we'll switch that off for the moment and go back to opening the box. All right, so let's see what's in the box. As I say, I've got this from Argos because you can click and collect from Argos. There is quite a good availability in the UK. I think this one was £409.99. I think it's 530 if you've got the Adventure Combo, which got all the other bits in that I don't really need. Nearly got nicked by the traffic warden collecting it from a stone market Argos. As yet, we might have done. Who knows? How do you open it? How do you open it? I can never find how to open these boxes easily. Oh, there it is. DJI's little green pull tag. Do that. Oh, we'll get into it in a minute. It opens like this. So there we go. So in the box, a standard combo. You get a pouch. The normal DJI instructions and some stickers. You won't need to look at those because I'm going to tell you how to set it up. In the box, you get the battery, which is the 1950 milliamp hour battery, which they're using on their Osmo 5, and I think you can use it in the 4 and even the 3. So there's the battery that comes in the standard combo, as well as. What is this hoof and great thing? It's quite heavy. Oh yeah, that's the um, protector. You have to be very careful with the lenses on 360 cameras and the standard USB-C to USB charge cable. Osmo on there. So in here, we should have the main event. So there we have the main event, which is the little pouch that it's in. I watched one uh, unboxing and he said, oh, it's a lot smaller than I imagined. Let's see if that is how I feel about it. You can't get this in here with that on, which is a bit stupid, to be honest, DJI. Make it a bit bigger. So there's the camera, standard lens, working cloth, and a little bit of silica gel. suspect this won't be used, because if it can't get in with that, then that's a bit silly. So here is the camera itself. I always mind the lenses on these. And there it is, DJ Osmo 360. The first thing I'm gonna do while I faff about with it is put the lens protector on it. Yep, yeah. that's quite stiff to get on. So the first thing it's got a a charging hot shoe on there. It will use the grips that um, the other Osmo cameras use. And this is my selfie stick that I used for the Insta360. So let's see if that just screws into that 
standard bit and it does so that's excellent news another test of compatibility before we set it up I'm waiting for the battery to charge I'm charging the battery so this is a standard Osmo magnetic clip for another one of my either an Osmo Action 543 and yep that clip clicks in so that's good so if you've got any of those they will work so we'll take that off that's good news you have to put them in a particular way because of the magnets though so yep yeah, that's excellent news so that's an advantage over my trusty old x3 um, that's the battery that i need to put on charge but i've got another battery charging so i'll go and get that in a minute and we'll be off Right, well, I've got a battery charged. It's the 1950 battery. It's one of mine. I think it's from my Osmo uh, Action 5 Pro, I think. But that'll do. So let's put it in the battery door, which is this one. Which it looks like you open slide. That's quite nifty. Memory card slot there. But this has got 104 or 5 odd gigabytes of onboard memory. So I'm not putting a memory card on it initially. So let's put the battery in. Shut that, shut the door. I suppose I could peel that off, but let's not for the moment. And switch it on, which I'm guessing is the on button there. So I'm gonna try and see if I can update it. I've got a little bit of cloth there just to lay it on and protect the lens. I have got lens protectors coming tomorrow. Uh, see if I can update it via the iPad, but it might need um, a phone so it can use both ends of the signal. I don't know. So let's switch on and see what we get. Language. So first thing you have language in English in my case. So do I swipe up? No, we want English. Tap in English device name is that. Uh device name. Scan code or download the app for activation. I suspect I've got to connect to the to it and there it is, look. So it's found the various uh, cameras, but it's the Osmo 360 I want to connect to. So I'm going to connect to that. So 2437, you can see 2437 on the camera. So I accept that. And now it's doing something. It's giving me the big terms and conditions for use. So I'm going to agree to that. Activate Osmo 360. Ensure Bluetooth is properly connected. Well, I'm assuming it is. Activate, activate and send activation information. I think it's activated, so it's now offering me, I'm gonna put the camera down for the moment. It's offering me DJI Care Refresh, which is, I don't think I'm gonna go for it, if I'm honest. How much is it? Oh, you can do this later, so I'm not gonna go for it at the moment, so I'm gonna skip that. Uh, user feedback. We would like to improve. Well, I don't really need to do that. Go to questionnaire. Do I want to do the questionnaire? Which of the following best fits your profile? Okay, I'm a sports enthusiast now. I'm a tech enthusiast. Yes. I'm a travel enthusiast. Yes. Oh, we only have one. I'm a content creator. I use the action camera. Forget. I'm have content creating. So next. Which of the following channels had the biggest influence on you? Uh, for buying out we've got to do all this malarkey you can probably skip it but i'll do it what post is your for social media right well, i've finished doing all that nonsense it took a while went much longer after i switched off actually so activation success get started enjoy the live view in the memo i'm surprised it hasn't done a firmware update most old um Manage files of efficiently advanced skills and tutorials. Update firmware regularly. Next. Right, well, this is switched off now. So we better switch the camera back on. And there it is, 360, connect. Join it. DJ, I mean, would like to access your microphone. You've got, you need to allow it to do all of these. So allow, 
allow it to access your photo library low full access and then we're in new firmware available tap to update this is where I'm not sure it will update uh, on an iPad because the iPad is not connected to the internet now firmware update install firmware now it is so it must have downloaded it so it's doing that and it's all spinning away on the camera so far this process has been quite painless apart from the questionnaire of course typically with DJI equipment you get to 70 odd percent or in this case 51 percent you think what's going on 53 I have heard people saying that the camera overheated when they were doing this it might have been a hot climate so I don't know but mine feels quite cool 61% 62 always be patient I've said this many times when I do this when you're updating these DJ equipment just be patient it will suddenly do that it'll flick to 83% Obviously, I'd already signed in on my um, on my app, my DJI Mimo, and I've got an account with DJI. It's not something you pay for, but you need to do that. If you're new to this, you need to do all of that once you download the app. <coughs> I'm suffering a bit with the COVID nimbus at the moment, so my voice is a bit quick, and I've got a cough. So 92%. Update success. Done. Device disconnected, okay, that's because it's probably rebooting, which it is, it's rebooted and initiating, updated, updated, move finger across the scene to adjust perspective, so this is showing you how to use the screen, so there you are, you can see all on the camera, swipe down from edge to enter control center, and there you've got the various, um, options in the various control centers so i'm going to stop now because the rest will be for another video so this is an unboxing and how you set it all up connect it to the app and um uh, load up the firmware the new firmware the one thing i would say which is a little bit annoying so i'm going to switch it off which you just hold and it'll switch off bit annoying this is and others have said this and i think come on dj what are you doing so this is their provided um, lens protect the hood which always check it's not got crud in before you put it on so we'll put that on and lo and behold we'll put it in its packet no it ain't fitting in there in that so come on DJI what is that all about how stupid Matt why didn't you make this bigger because if you want people to keep it in that in the packet then you should have made it fit anyway thanks for watching that's the unboxing and uh We'll see um, a bit later what accessories it will connect to. So, thanks for watching. That's the DJI Osmo 360. Actually, before I go, the one big question for me, which is important to me, is if it will pair with the DJI GPS remote that uses the Action 4 and Action 5. And I'm told it does. So, let's see if it does. So, let's quick switch that on. He says, hold the switch on and click on that. Problem is, it's probably connected to my other camera, which it has. Um, well, I'd have to do something to disconnect it from the camera I'm using, actually. As I say, there's often more than one way to kill a cat, so let's see if this is working. So I'll switch the Bluetooth remote off. You can see it's all salty from when I take it on the boat. So let's switch it on and you press let's just see if it'll pick up on here you press the link button I think and now it has it's got 2527 now where's it got that from Oh yes, 2527. You can see it's up the corner there. So we'll accept that. 
GPS Bluetooth remote, updating Bluetooth remote controller takes approximately two minutes, so that's important. I don't know where it's getting that information from, but it seems as though it has paired the remote. Now, this was important to me, because one of the reasons I moved from the uh, Insta360 X3 was because the remote, it was it's good, but it, it, it kept sort of jumping about and not connecting and playing up a little bit. So let's see how we're doing. Well, I won't watch you make watch all of this, but it is updating the uh, remote. So that looks all good. It's clicked, updated, says updated on there again. Do not show this again. So all done. So the Bluetooth remote is working, it's trying to get GPS, but that's excellent. That was important to me. I'll try it later. Thanks for watching.